Meteorologist Robert Spetta, and after a nearly a month hiatus out here in the Western Pacific, it is a rather active. Of course, I'm still watching Tropical Storm Jolina, internationally known as Konson, moving across the Philippines. But boy, oh boy, Chansu, known as Kiko in the Philippines, continuing to rapidly intensify. It has not been upgraded to a typhoon just yet by the Japan Meteorology Agency, but boy, it is it's there. Uh, look at this center of circulation really deepening quite quickly over the last few hours. I wall becoming much more defined winds estimated to be 155 kilometers per hour pressure down to 990 hectopascals but uh, that's from jtwc with the wind speeds and i'm definitely leaning more towards that as this storm system continues to strengthen and move off here towards the west northwest actually just take a look at another view of satellite imagery here kind of get an idea of that center of circulation in the last few frames watch it right there you can see that eye wall really becoming much much more defined out of this as well and with the uh, rainbow that's what we call this kind of uh, look right here and you kind of get an idea of that center so they're right there yeah that's uh, a lot of convection very dangerous storm system moving over very warm sea surface temperatures and the outflow aloft is for sure there to allow this to strengthen this is based on Dvorak analysis from the University of Wisconsin over the last few days we had that general strengthening but in just the last few hours look at that boom jumping right up they're estimating wind speeds could be about 100 knots plus so definitely I mean that's typhoon 65 knots is a typhoon if these is if this is n correct i mean that's uh we're, we're already edging towards a cat two, the category three type storm system as i mentioned moving over sea surface temperatures are exceptionally warm these darker reds indicating about two to three degrees above average now that's mid to high 80s fahrenheit over 30 degrees um celsius a lot of energy out ahead of this to allow it to continue to strengthen so what does all that mean well let's take a look at the actual forecast here first from the joint typhoon warning center as it moves off there towards the north and west that was a nice little jump there um basically for thursday and into friday continuing to strengthen potentially becoming a uh, exceptionally strong typhoon as it nears the island of taiwan keeping an eye very closely on the cone of air with this one though because there is definitely a lot of uncertainty and extended forecast but at least at this point strong typhoon very well likely and for those into southern Taiwan even across southern Japanese islands and of course into northern uh, areas of Luzon definitely want to watch this reason for that uncertainty in the long range as far as the forecast is concerned with the track it's all about that high pressure ridge just towards the north this could track along like that and stay just towards the south or veer kind of in a northerly projection take a look at the ECMWF forecast though kind of giving you an idea of where uh, that model is on the southern extent pretty close to northern Luzon and eventually could swing towards north into southeastern areas of of Taiwan as well for sure could be looking at that threat of flooding yesterday this was further towards the north day before it was up here GFS actually wants to kind of take it a little more on that northerly path that's why I'm saying want to continue to check back in with the forecast at least for now because everybody from the far western areas of the southern Japanese islands all the way out there towards uh, northern Luzon want to keep an eye on it that's the different model forecast from the GFS and the ECMWF with the spaghetti plots kind of showing you the very variability here in that forecast all right for those out in Taipei those Sunday into Mondays when this is going to start to near uh, then you will for sure be seeing increasing showers by Monday I mean there's no question there and over towards Naha as well I think scattered showers increasing through the weekend not a beautiful weekend at all in the forecast if you like these updates check out the link down below I'm going to put a link for a patreon and also hit that subscribe button uh, it really does help out a lot and I'm not trying to patronize or beg or anything like that no it's just I don't like really asking, but um, it does help get the word out. By the way, hey, I put Fahrenheit on here because uh, some of those of you in Okinawa were asking for it. There's a lot of military there. I'm trying to get rid of the decimal points, but because it's automatically populated. But anyways, yeah, I figured out how to do Fahrenheit with the new graphics system. So, yeah. All right.